Vignettes of Katie's Life with Baba, Part 3 Katie Irani Remembers Helen Dam, 1938-1939 were you up the hill when the Samadhi was built? It was all rich there. It was built when you arrived. It was already, it's already it there. It was all rich there, Baba. It was in seclusion there. You started living there in 1936 or 7 then. 38. No, no. The Samadhi was already there hmm. after Baba had dropped his body. Hmm. Then, because Baba took us there with it. It was only when Baba ordered the construction of the dome over the script cabin or underground room in early 1938 that everyone came to know that this was to be the site of his future tomb. He said, after I drop my body, I will lie down, I will lay here. Helen Dam first met Meher Baba in Zurich, Switzerland in December 1932, then again in France in August 1937. She arrived in India in June 1938. When Helen Dam came, hmm. Baba asked her to paint it. You were there when she was painting it. Oh, yeah. Starting in August 1938, the Swiss artist Helen Dam was painting colourful murals on the inside walls of Meher Baba's Samadhi. She was absorbed in her work from morning to evening. He would instruct Helen what to do, what, what, what he wanted. Like he would instruct Strano to do that big painting. Mm -hmm. that, you know. The chart or the, the yeah. big painting of... Or the paint portrait of Baba? No, portrait was different. But this one, which he, uh, it says seven realities. Yeah. Baba would say, put the animal here, put this here, put yeah. this. So only Ram and Baba. Manu Jasawala said Baba would tell her to fix the eyes and many things he told her to do. Margaret Krass recalled that Baba would always point out errors and suggest corrections that only an artist perfect in his art would know, which thus shows Baba's perfection in all things. Helen, he asked, hmm. she was quite old, you know, over 50, I think, and she had to stand up on this high thing there and get old women to work in the heat. That's no joke, you know. Manu Jasawala said, Padri had laid planks across the Samadhi. Helen laid on her back for hours and hours and painted that dome with a long brush. Her brushes were so long to paint that dome, more than a meter long. At the age of 60, she was very brave, my goodness. She put her whole heart and soul into the Samadhi paintings and that gave it shine.
Mera liked the paintings very much. Baba's expression was so beautiful at first, so lovely, the eyes so melting, full of compassion and love. The eyes were soft and gentle originally, with a lovely, sweet expression. So, she did a good job. Then after she left Baba, went back home. She was not known by anyone before that. She was a Swiss German, I think. And uh, when she returned back, she became so famous. She did so many artworks. She had exhibitions and art in the art gallery. And she became well known. And she couldn't speak any language. I mean, we didn't speak any German, so we could understand. So we just speak sign language. Hello, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't speak anything. And I said, Helen. So I said, no, I must ask her something. I said, Helen. I learned from Norina. I said, Helen. Haben Sie gut geschlafen? Hi, 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 she'll be very happy. Oh, that's sweet. Hi, hi, And she and Norina could talk, and Heidi could talk, Heidi Martins, who was also from Switzerland. So they understood that. But poor dear, she couldn't talk with us. But we all spoke in sign language, and uh, we'd eat together, be there together. And, uh, all the smiling. The Hindu festival of Dasera was celebrated on Merabad Hill. Helen Dam dressed herself up like a rabbit. The women paraded in their compound before Baba, and Valu beat on an empty oil tin as if it were a drum. All had light hearted fun as Baba happily watched the amusing skits. Happy with Baba, yeah. I'm not in over explain to her Baba to give discourse in Norina would explain to her. We stayed in Ajmed and she got very sick. Colitis. In Bhopal, in early March, Helen was taken to a hospital with Irene Billow to attend to her. After two weeks, Helen rejoined Baba's group in Jabalpur. Baba would send her messages. Helen, do your best to feel well and happy and help the doctor all you can by not worrying. You will get well and get stronger than you have been for some time. I will help you. I am always helping you. And I am always with you. And then she had to go back home, so Baba sent her. But she was with us on the blue bus. She wasn't keeping well. She went to the hospital, I think. Mm. She's all right then back home. In mid-April 1939, Helen and Heidi Mertens returned to Switzerland. Helen met Meher Baba again in Zurich at the airport in 1956. Helen was transformed by her experience in India. Helen later remarked, I start every day as if it were the first and last day at the same time. This is the great tension between birth and death. 
Helen's motto was, everything depends upon grace. One can express all of one's spiritual quality through art, but one must put all one's heart into it. Art is one of the sources through which the soul expresses itself and inspires others. But to express art thoroughly, one must have the inner emotions thoroughly opened. I love artists, for through art one can express oneself beautifully. When inspired with love, art leads to higher realms. I am an artist who has the whole world as my canvas. I paint souls. <laughs> 